As we brace for another night of bitterly cold temperatures, the worry of getting people out of the elements and inside remains top of mind. Within minutes, signs of frostbite and hypothermia can set in if you're not dressed appropriately. LAX 18's Claire Crouch has the warning signs in the big story at 5.30. When it comes to extreme cold like this, the message from the Lexington Fire Department is simple. We encourage people if you don't need to be outside, stay inside. Unfortunately though, not everyone heeds that advice. One of the most important mistakes we see people make is they just simply underestimate the power of cold weather. And it's not just about being cold, but in bitterly frigid temperatures like these, it becomes a real health hazard. Well, you start experiencing hypothermia when your body loses more heat than it can produce. According to the National Weather Service, symptoms of frostbite and hypothermia can set in in 30 minutes or less. So the first sign of hypothermia would just be shivering where your body's natural response is to try to generate body heat. Then those symptoms can escalate to slurred speech, a weak pulse, and even loss of consciousness. And Lieutenant Bowman says if you have to be outside for any amount of time, make sure you're dressing appropriately. And we're talking everything from good solid boots to layers underneath your pants, a nice jacket, and of course a hat for your head and gloves or even mittens for your hands. And if you run across someone outside who doesn't have the appropriate wear, We've got great resources right here in Lexington. We have the Compassionate Caravan, so if you were out, you saw someone who you were concerned about, you could call a phone number and the Compassionate Caravan is going to send someone out to check on that person, get them to someplace safe. All vital information that might not only keep you warm, but even save a life. Covering the news in Lexington, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News. Just last night, the Compassionate Caravan picked up 22 people around Lexington, and the Catholic Action Center tells us they've consistently had around 190 at the shelter every day for the past week. If you see someone in need of shelter, we have information about who to contact on our website, lex18.com.